Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pooja Sharma. I am Senior Consultant of Obstetric and Gynecology at Daksh Clinic Hoskas. Today I will be discussing with you a very common problem, fibroid uterus. You must have heard about it, fibroid uterus. So, if you are a female in the reproductive age group, then there are few things you must know about fibroid uterus. Firstly, what are fibroids? What are the symptoms? What can happen if they are left untreated? What are the diagnostic techniques? What are the diagnostic methods? How can we diagnose them? And finally, the treatment required for the fibroids. Uterine fibroids, which are also known as Rasoli in Hindi, they are the most common tumors arising from the muscles of uterus. Most common benign tumors. Let me repeat benign. Benign means non-cancerous. So most of the fibroids are non-cancerous tumors arising from the muscles of uterus. Who can have them? I mean, what are the risk factors? Who are the females who can have them? So it is mostly seen in females who had a family history of fibroids, who are nulliparous, means who have not given birth to a child ever, who has had early menarche and late menopause, means whose period started at an early age and who had a late menopause and uh, obesity. These are the few risk factors. It is not that only these females will get them, but these are the some common risk factors for fibroids. Now, what are the symptoms? How can, a how can you think that you can or how can a lady think that she is having fibroids? Now, fibroids mostly present with menstrual dis disturbances like Abnormal uterine bleeding, mostly in the form of excessive and frequent uterine bleeding. It can also present as lower back pain, pelvic pain or it can present, the bigger fibroids can present as pressure symptoms causing uh, pain during passing stools or pain during urination. In some fibroids like in submucosal fibroids, uh, they can also present as uh, infertility. They can be one of the cause of infertility, though rare, but they can cause infertility. And in a pregnant lady with fibroids, uh, we, need, we need to give certain extra precaution during the pregnancy and after pregnancy. So these are the mostly symptoms with which the lady presents. Now, how can we diagnose them? How can you know that a lady is having fibroids? Some cases uh, fibroids can be seen as an uh, accidental finding while doing ultrasound for some other disease or doing a pelvic examination for some other entity. Otherwise, the gold standard for diagnosing fibroid uterus is transvaginal ultrasound. However, in some cases transabdominal ultrasound and higher imaging modalities like MRI or uh, even higher imaging modalities can be needed, which are rare. Most, most of the cases they can be diagnosed by ultrasonography only. Right. Now, coming to the treatment. Now, treatment. Treatment depends upon the symptom. Management of fibroid should be tailored according to the size of fibroid, location of fibroid, patient's age and desire for fertility. Now, in a lady who is having multiple small fibroids, she is asymptomatic and ultrasound shows uh, just few small fibroids. In such cases, no treatment is required. If the lady is around in, the, in her perimenopausal age group or if the lady is about to attain menopause within few years, no treatment is required. If a lady is desirous of fertility and she is having big fibroid or a symptomatic fibroid, then we can offer her myomectomy, which means removal of just the fibroid, not the whole uterus. Right? If a lady has completed her family but it's still desire to retain her uterus and she is having fibroids which can be removed leaving the uterus intact, then also we can offer her myomectomy. But we should remember that the recurrence rate of fibroid is again between 15 to 30 percent. So even if, our, even if we have removed fibroid, it is not necessary that it cannot recur, it can. Now in females who are having multiple symptomatic fibroid who, has, who have completed their family, in such case the mainstay of treatment is surgery and the surgery is hysterectomy. Hysterectomy means complete removal of uterus and this surgery, hysterectomy should be done with the minimal invasive method possible, right? So nowadays it can be done by laparoscopy, it can be done by um, uh, ultrasonic energy, it can be done by vaginal route or it can be done by open surgeries also. 
but the decision should be tailored according to the patient's symptom and should be done by the minimal invasive route. So in the end I would like to mention that if you are a lady in the reproductive age group and you are having any of these menstrual complaint or back pain or any prolonged complaint then please seek medical advice. At least go and meet your doctor and get yourself examined so that if you are having problem pertaining to fibroid it can be detected and treated early because it is good for your health. Thank you.